Now these are kind of high, so this is going to be good for me. That's a good place. You already see your instructions. Obey my commands. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, guys. Sparkle Lee there, the referee in the first meeting between Chantel Cameron and Katie Taylor. And remember that coming up on November the 25th, the big rematch live from Dublin here on the zone as we get underway with the last of the action before Joe Cordina makes his appearance to defend his IBF super featherweight title. Here it's Sibe Nonchinga, the brilliant young South African against Adrian Curiel of Mexico, both of them 24. Super excited, Mike Nonchinga. Quality, class, sharp. Has so much ability, and is also a puncher in this division, which is which is very rare to be in totally honest at the world class level. He's excellent. He really is. Twelve wins on his record so far. Nine of those have come inside the distance, although noticeably the last three have all gone twelve rounds. Two of those world title fights. What's so impressive, though he's only had 12 fights, we've seen literally everything there is to see in those 12 fights. Nine stoppages, he had the absolute war to his shoe, showed heart, courage, a will to win like no other against Flores. His first defense, he moved, he showed that he can make life easy for himself when he has to. Great variation, the speed is electric. Very, very good fighter. I just feel he's the full back in the I just think there's nothing he can't do. Very, very good. No good defense to go with his really good offense. He's just a solid fighter. Curio is rough, he's rugged, he's in your face. Very typically Mexican with his approach to a fight. Likes to be on the front foot, as you can see here. Does get a little greedy with his right hand at times. He falls over the front foot with someone like Nochinga with the speed, the accuracy. He will get counted, so he has to be switched on. Good attack, good turn. The movement there, the exit off the rope from Nochinga, so impressive. He's going to give Nochinga all the opportunity he wants. He's right in front of him. He's on his chest, and Cordial is, you know, like I say, he's there to be hit. He labours himself a switch hitter, the Mexican, but often stands square on as he's in between the two stances. And already his face becoming reddened with half a minute or so still to go in the opener. He's trying the rough house tactics, Mike. He wants to get close, hit the body and rough him up a little bit, but Nonchinga looks like he's happy with it. He's good with this kind of fight, he's not going to phase him at all. Yeah, really is good pressure from Curiel. Really, really forcing the pace here, but I do feel like you said, Tony, he's made play into the hands of Nonsinga. Exchanging left hooks. Like we spoke about before, He's encountered so many problems that we've seen that he has what it takes to fight with Hector Flores. You can see what he had that, and you know, he's not going to be found one. And that's the thing, that someone who has the ability and the quality that he has, they're the only real questions you have with someone. Can he, has he got the heart, has he got the, you know, the stamina to be in there and continue after, you know, a hard six, seven, eight, nine rounds? And we know he has, so... He's ticked that box, has Yeah. Once you do that, you know, the question's gone then. It is what can you... I think the next thing now is that he takes a big punch of the himself. And this is he did, all he lacks. I mean, look, he's a 12 fire novice, you yeah. could say. It's just he's experience. He's 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 incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. 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 In the distance there, Colin Nathan just leaving the ring, the trainer of Nonchinga, and responsible for that rousing address after nine rounds on the night when Nonchinga won the title. Nine minutes to change your life was the message. In a clip that went viral on the night that Nonchinga beat Hector Flores in a cracking contest down in the light flyweight division. 
what he needs to do. Courier, some of the dark arts might come into play. Around the side of the head. Hit, hit whatever he gives you. Whatever he gives you. But Shinga is someone who moves the defense quite well, but it's going to be hard to nail on the book. He's quite, quite a good defense, but you've got to hit anything shoulders, arms, body, side of the head. Just, just take it. I like this from Carrillo, though. Oh, oh, tremendous one. right hand from Edmund Carrillo. He timed it as Nonshinga was making his way oh. around the ring and the referee has waved it off long before completing the count. And what a oh. success. A blistering knockout so rarely seen down in the light flyweight division. And Adrian Carrillo, at the age of 24, becomes Mexico's latest world champion wow. in the most sensational fashion. Sit it down. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We were just singing the praise like you can't imagine from Monsinga. But he has just been absolutely nailed by a thunderous right hand wow. from Correo. Look at that. Just as I was saying, I like what I was seeing from Correo. The real intent. That, that's class, that's intelligence. The way he took his head off the line, inside that lead hand he of took Oxinger. his eyes off him, Dan. He took his hand away from the shot, he took his eyes off him. And there's always the shot that took it away. But that, that, that is a shock. That oh, is a huge a upset. Punch. Huge upset. Every time Curiel has stepped up a level, he's been beaten. And he has just found the punch of a lifetime, of a career there. Yes. Once in a once in a lifetime, or once in a career time punch. That was, un I mean, the writing is not on the wall. Look at his record. He, he, he has four KOs in 28 bouts. 28 bouts of four KOs. That is a punch that he will throw once in his lifetime. And thankfully for him, it's in a world title fight. Tonight wow. he's just realised his dreams with a one-off shot. Incredible. That boxes. And we were talking about the power of non -chingles. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, when you, you know, nothing surprises me in this sport. And, and that's why we love this sport so much. Because every now and again, the underdog wins. Yeah, I just could not, on paper, what I'd seen, I could not see that coming. On paper, guys, it, it's it's a really good learning bout for non -chinga. It's a guy who's had 20, you know, eight bouts. You know, he's, he's a few losses there. Yeah, four defeats, 23 wins, but... It's only 4 k wins for him in them 28. That was not expected. And Nunchinger is one of the best prospects in world boxing. He's fantastic. We've shown him, we've seen his credentials. For that, it's a complete shock. Let's get the official time then from David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Sparkle Lee calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and nine seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by knockout and the new IBF Light Flyweight Champion of the World.